when we spoke of travel to the Hidden Land yesterday. I said that you needed proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof bears an inscription. Go to Meridian City. Yeah. There's an collect ins- all 150 Pokemon. Oh. The man will give you a certificate. Uh, yes. Yes, you need this certificate. The proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern? Metal Gear. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. We'll just <laughs> take him after a while. <laughs> Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Uh, how can I describe it? How would I know? (laughs) It's difficult to describe. But I can tell you that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It is a peculiar pattern. The kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you rarely see? Well, there's only one of those. Golly. You'd think I could think of something. But trying to think of such a thing, it's not easy when one tries. Uh, What could it be? Hmm. The kind of pattern you rarely see. What could a pattern like that look like? A pattern you rarely see. A peculiar... <gasps> Wait a second. Figured it out. A peculiar pattern. It's this. Just... Draw. Draw. Draw Sorry. the sweet S. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was... Yeah, just draw the sweet S. Yeah. A peculiar pattern. I remember that time. Back oh in, the, in the past of the past... After the future. It's the past future. That's it! The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern. It was even named as such. I mean, to be fair, you named it that. Huh? What is it, Echo? What? My relic fragment? Oh, right! That pattern. Excuse me. Could you have a look at this? No. I'm going now. Oh, wait. Oh, this is it. It's a pattern exactly like this. Torkoal's voice has changed like six times, but who cares? <laughs> I mean, have you heard Diglets this episode? Yes. I, I've not been able to find it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I changed the trios at least twice as well. Where? Where did you get this? Um, I'm not sure if I remember. I happened to pick it up. Yippee, this is fabulous. Since Anne has this, does it mean that Anne is qualified to go to the Hidden Land? That I wouldn't know. Maybe yes. Probably not. Wait, (laughs) maybe no. Maybe. Maybe. To go to the Hidden Land, one must surely possess that proof. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be... chosen. That proof may merely be the physical key to the Hidden Land. Even before that, though, anybody could draw this shape. There's no sure connection between this relic fragment and the Hidden Land. Oh, but... There's no question that this pattern has something to do with the Hidden Land? Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so, yes, if you're optimistic. Wait... You do realize that the Hidden Land is only a spoken legend, right? You're not actually trying to find it. I know you have material proof of it and everything. (laughs) Yes, we are. My goodness, I'm out of here. (laughs) You You lot are crazy. 
Charot! This pattern. We've seen this somewhere, haven't we? Uh, what? Oh, it's story time. Yes, the sea inlets to the northwest, inside Brian Cave. Story time as opposed to all the other times this episode that haven't been story time. Uh, those were past story time. This is oh, okay. past story time, but we haven't seen it before. Gotcha, gotcha. Very important distinction. But Guildmaster, that place! Yes, I know. That vicious bandit was there. A vicious... Bandit, Buckle. Everyone, please listen. I once saw this same pattern deep inside a place called Brine Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the relic fragment there. However... Is that from the Igglypuff episode? No. Okay. However, there is one problem... Because Shadot was there. However, That's what I was wondering. Yeah. There is one problem. A Pokemon lurks there who is a vicious bandit. Dangerous banditos. Hey, hey. We're not about to let that scare us off. <laughs> oh, I was I was just going to take take that as as you reading the we can paraphrase. <laughs> well, never. Aren't we explorers? We all need to be brave. Thanks everyone. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take time to get ready. We'll set off for Brian Cave tomorrow. Poo. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't just kick me to tomorrow. Ho ho ho! I thought that the Hidden Land was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made my thinking so inflexible, but too inflexible for me to consider that a problem. <laughs> this all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. Can count on us. Thank you, Torkoal. Oh, it was nothing. Who, who are all of you? Who's talking? Yeah. All right, everyone. Spend the rest of today getting ready. Okay, dismissed. Hooray! Yo, we gotta get ready, by golly. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting! Alright, there's a, there's a lizard. What? <laughs> Chatot! Chatot, you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby. Guild Master? Forgive me if I'm out of line, but please, let me go to Brian Cave! Nope! I can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why! That's why I must go! Please, take me to Brian Cave! Hmm. Okay. Brian didn't exist yet, did it? What? The moves. Oh, it exists. I think we have a TM for it, even. Oh. Then I want you to go with Team Lodestar tomorrow. Oh, I'm confusing Brian with Scald. Oh. Yeah, Scald was... Gen 5? Gen 6? Gen 5. Guide Echo's team to the place where we saw that strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you! I won't let you down! Another thing! I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone. As you wish. So that's where it stands. You two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team Lodestar's non-guild members may not come along. Brian Cave has a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let down your guard. And don't do anything that keeps me from succeeding there. Um, okay. Yeah, right. Echo. Let's go get ready. Let's go to Treasure Town. No, we're gonna go to Krogunk. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to. To Brian Cave. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be very excited about Brian Cave. Yes. Who can blame? Boo. Nothing. 
All right. Oh. Oh, to be young again. If I was younger, I'd certainly join the challenge to find the hidden land. Whoa! -ho -ho. Okay. Hold it there, old timer. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it these schmucks? Ah, uh, you know it is. Who, who is it? Wh what is it? What do you want? Ha ha ha. Well, we're Team Skull. <laughs> Didn't you have business with the Wingtip Guild, old timer? So, I don't think we've ever paused and appreciated Team Skull's theme. And this might be. I mean, it's alright. It's. It's a. It's. I, I love a good theme of bumbling. And that's absolutely what this is. Ho ho ho! I overheard you say something that sounded fun. Something about the hidden land. Ha ha ha. I. I was only. Huh? Someone's coming. Ho ho ho! Guild chumps. Old timer. Why don't we take this chat somewhere? We won't be disturbed. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. That Zubat cannot push you that hard. I would think. Yeah. Anyway. Threatening. Not pushing. Mm -hmm. Race car noises. Are we going to be able to convince Richard to go back to that place and collect all of the people? What? <laughs> Super Trick Mario. Oh. Do the 100 man challenge for real this time. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what the reward is. I don't remember either. I just know that it's it's not really needed. One of, one of the 300 room challenges in the <laughs> game. Mm-hmm. I still have these prize tickets. Hmm. True. Hmm. What does this even do? Oh, why don't I? Why don't I? Why don't I? Did I really not pick up anything? What is this item? Raises defense. Okay. We have two prize tickets to redeem. Also, let's see if, uh... Because we, we, we still haven't found Star Cave. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Torpedo Bluff before we go to the guild. Just in case you draw, draw, come back. Go check on Sharpedo Bluff, Echo. Alright. Scorefall back, I wonder? Let's go. God, Team Skull really did just kidnap an old man. Yes. <laughs> yes. For that, no real reason either. That, that just sort of happened. Yep. Yeah. You're just like we don't like those guys. We were talking to this old man. Let's 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 get him. Sorry, I just had to roll back to that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, over there. I, like thinking about it again, it was so distracting. Yeah. There's a sheet of paper something written on it in footprint runes. I forgot that was a thing. It's a letter from Grovile. Must be a message for us. Well, let's read it. 
All right. I guess this is narration, or well, I can read it in Grovile voice. To Echo and Anne, how are you, you doing? Really don't have to. <laughs> how goes your search for the hidden land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I have to find only two more time gears. I plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. Azelf and his friends understand the situation, and they have fully cooperated. That means, technically, I should have four time gears, but don't think about it. Azelf told me that members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. <clears throat> First, I'm not certain if the Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not. But there's something more troubling than that. Dusk Noir is liable to return from the future at any time. Dusk Noir. At any time could mean a lot of things. <laughs> at any time. The Dusk Noir Everywhere system. <laughs> No, the time traveling guy. He could appear at any time, in any time, in any place. Yeah. Come to think of it, that's not fair to get rid of us in the future. I wonder. I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Keep reading. Since Dusk Noir will be coming. We should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may instead come back to Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, we can then exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Grovile. Hmm. Okay, sounds like Grovile's hard at work. We better not fail on our end. According to this letter, Grovile will show up here, or at the beach. We'll go down to the beach and see if we can find Grovile there. Yeah, we should so. go back before we check the guild. This is a thing we can do. I actually have to wonder if going diagonally is faster. It looks better. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh yeah, chapter 18, Lapras. Sure. Hey, how are we going to cross the ocean, though? Uh, you know, we'll swim. Bet you didn't we'll think of that swim. game. Why is it always a Lapras? Right? It's I always mean, Lapras that goes across the ocean? I mean... What it seems like. I mean... It's because it's the fairy Pokemon. Is it the fairy Pokemon? I think that's the designation. Oh, I would explain it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that for sure that would explain it. Uh just anyway. click on this, click on this, click on this. The transport Pokemon. I was close. Oh, close Not the choo choo train Pokemon though. No. Anyway. Let's hope to see Grovile here, but he's not here after all. Speaking of not being here. We're not here either. Just fades out. Oh, yeah. The Krabby aren't here either. I always come every day to blow bubbles. Do their bubble thing. I don't see their bubbles go up floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, Echo. 
Sunset's beautiful. It always is. You know... It was my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment. But I would never would have guessed the relic fragment was connected to the hidden lane. That place I didn't know existed until very yeah, recently. Right. That place we just learned about. No way. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it? Where coughing and his sidekick stole my relic fragment? Yay, more mashing. Stuff. Well, to be fair, this was actually at the start of the game. Yeah. This is like a more deserving of a flashback sequence. Absolutely. I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me courage then, Echo. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back, Relic Fragment was Team Lozar's first adventure. And now we're using the same Relic Fragment so we can go to Hidden Land. Think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventures with Anne, and searching for the Hidden Land. The Relic Fragment was the start of both. If you do a little bit of gymnastics, but it's okay. Yeah. We, we already had the item. <laughs> yeah. This beautiful sunset. If we lost, this plant's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. Start spraying uh, paralysis heals all over the world. <laughs> Just, just start mashing up cherry berries and just shove them into holes. <laughs> uh, gotta go to the hidden land. Uh, we have to do good tomorrow, Echo. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memory. My mission with Grovile. A mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, Echo. That... What's that? Flap. What could it be? Very large Lapras. I mean, we zoomed in. Oh, okay. See? Uh, again, I ask, what could it be? Looks like it's swimming across the sunset, though. I think it's a Pokemon. Well... <laughs> what would Diglett do if Lapras just showed up at the front step? <laughs> well, Lapras, I think, technically has a footprint. Hold up. Where's your footprint, Lapras? Where is it? I know it's somewhere. I know you're hiding it. I know you're hiding a footprint. Huh. Huh? Interesting. Interesting. It's fine. <laughs> Does it not have one? Well, I'll look. I'll look. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the best way to look would be to check Gyarados. Does Gyarados have a footprint? Does Magikarp have a footprint? Does Tauros have a footprint? Tauros has to have a footprint. Oh, wait, I have to go to Gen 4. That's where all the footprints are. Footprint. No? Cerebi. Cerebi, why? 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 Alright, fine. We gotta, we'll go to Bulbapedia instead. Labrys, do you have a footprint? Control F, footprint. There it is! Lapras doesn't have a footprint. Oh, okay. It's it's blank. We did it. We found the out. The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon.
<laughs> the Krabby weren't around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. <laughs> Whoa ho ho. But Chief, that old timer Torkoal wasn't lying to us after all. Really punched an old man. <laughs> that junk we stole back then. Didn't know it was gonna be something that valuable. So what? We'll get that relic fragment from them one way or another. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by none other than us, Team Skull. Ha ha ha. Whoa ho ho. Not exactly evil, but definitely not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Buncha, yeah, muncha, yeah, yeah. Muncha, Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's our where's our eating dinner mini game? No. Please. Please no. Be, it'd be great if we woke up in the morning and they were just like, I know you're out doing that thing. Diglett duty. <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> oh, my God. Lapras, long time no see. It's been too long, Wiggly Duff. You look well. Is Chatot doing well too? Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear it. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I am here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. Anyway. Clearly, Wigglytuff is scheming against us. Uh, yes. Mastermind the whole time. The whole time. Wigglytuff actually was Dialga. <laughs> I would explain Hyper Voice. <laughs> Ahem. And so, as you are all quite well aware, Guildmaster has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brine Cave as scheduled. Hey, hey. Give Master Go anyway. Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the Guildmaster? No problem. There's no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet. Furthermore, in the place of our absent Guildmaster, you have me to lead you. We believe in you. Ah, uh, the sounds of of uh belief. Complete yeah. faith. Yes. Uh, why isn't anyone saying anything? It, it can't be. Do you all think that I am not up to the task? Everyone, out with it. Am I perhaps, perhaps inadequate, worthless to you? Oh, uh, no. I wouldn't say that, by golly. The Guildmaster isn't here. Just feels less safe. Hey, hey. You know, the Guildmaster is hard to figure out. Hey, he really comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so 
We have to take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can get the job done on our own. Let's go for it now. You're right. We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yeah, it's a spirit. Let's do our best. Did that not come through? No. <laughs> no, it didn't. Chad. <laughs> okay. The Guildmaster's absent. So there's only one among us who can lead. Bit off. And that's you. Okay. Aren't you happy I didn't fake you out? Huh? Who? Me? Of course, you said so earlier. You said we'd be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way, show us, chat up. That's right, show us, chat up, hey, hey. Yup, yup, I'm counting on you. Huh. Well, everyone, you can always count on me when the things are this bad. What's the matter, Chatot? Sound the call to duty already. I know, I know. Commencing now, we shall depart on a guild exploration of Brine Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Yeah. Hooray!